You don't look well at all. It's really sore. I can only sleep on my side. I can't sleep on my back. Yeah. And you say you're feeling it in your ears? Yeah, like it all here. Yeah. Being hot, like it feels hot on the inside. Not so it like feels hot deep inside your neck? Yeah. Yeah. What about your hands? You're getting any numbness or tingling I in get, your hands? I've had a tiny bit of tingling in my right hand. Which part of your head are your headaches in? Um, I just like all, I'll get sore behind my ears. Yeah. Just there. Okay, I'm just going to gently get you to turn your head left and right. So I just want to see. Wants to stop there, doesn't it? Yep. And let's go this way. Oh, it's not good at all. Alright. You've got a big divot or hollow in this part of your neck here. And this side of your neck's really full. These muscles have gone into spasm. Yep. They're really guarding all the way through there. And these ones are virtually turned off. You can see back here is right over the point where, which seems to be where the nerve pressure is and where the vertebra is misaligned, is a whole bunch of fluid. So what we're going to need to do is get a picture of this and see exactly what the discs look like. Okay? Well, that'll be okay. Yeah. Freak me out. That's fine, buddy. It's fine. You a bit scared? I'm scared. Yeah, don't worry. We fix these things every single day. Okay? Yeah. Actually, we fix these things about 70, 80 times a day. <laughs> so don't worry. Assessing all these discs and comparing them, we can see which, where the changes occur in the discs and therefore which discs are the wrong shape. Yeah. And that vertebra there is the one that's in trouble. Take the ice pack off and try not to worry, okay? I, I know you're really nervous. That's it there. Yeah. You can tell, can't you? Yeah. As soon as I put my hand on it. Yeah. The important thing when we correct these is not to put any rotation in your neck. I'm just going to take a very small contact on that bone like that and I'm just going to make sure that your head sits straight over your spine like that It's hard to appreciate but this disc was really really swollen It's very difficult to get her head over the, into the right position I would have liked to adjust it closer to here but in order to get the disc space open at the front and give the vertebra somewhere to go I needed to bring her head a little bit further back than I would like Let your body slump in the chair a little bit, just that bit like... By keeping the head over the rest of the spine and keeping all the functional segments in correct alignment, I was able to get the subluxated segment to come back a little bit further than usual and open up the anterior disc space. Yeah. This is where we got to. The rest of the spine stacked up nicely, the anterior disc space open, somewhere for the subluxated segment to sit up onto, and the patient comfortable and ready for the correction. We'll let you see the adjustment. It's not the prettiest one you'll ever see, but the patient's comfortable, the subluxation's corrected specifically, and that's the most important thing. Let's give this a little push in a minute. Excellent. Easy as that. I might feel a bit lightheaded or a little yeah. bit dizzy. Feel a bit funny, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. That's good. It's only been what 30 seconds since the adjustment or so. All that tone's come straight out of those muscles. You can see. Remember, you know how they felt like concrete before. Yeah. Can you see how they're kind of more like jelly? Yeah. Show, show me what you can do with your head now, turn it left and right. Look at that. Yeah, spin it off your body. <laughs> That's good. Alright mate. Thank you. You fixed? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, you need it. Thanks so much. Oh, it's a pleasure. Like a miracle. Yeah. I was really freaked out yesterday. Yeah. <laughs>